Yes, Sheikh. Actually, my question is, I am a student. So we are two friends living in one room. So my bed is inclined in such a way that my legs go straight towards my friend's books. They are inclined. They are at the same height where my legs, uh, legs are straight, straighting forward towards uh, the books. So is it inappropriate or, or should I change my uh, position? Are you disrespecting these books intentionally? No, no. In this case, there is no problem directing your feet towards these books or towards the Qibla because there's nothing in the Quran or the Sunnah prohibits it. This is nothing related to Islam. And this is something that we always tell people. You have to be uh, aligned with the instructions of the Quran and the Sunnah. Whenever I want to prostrate in the masjid and I put the Quran on the ground and I prostrate, the elders usually come and pick it up and say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. I said, wait, hey, what's, what's wrong? So this is re disrespecting the Quran when you put it on the ground. I say, says who? I have full respect to the Quran. I love the Quran. I'm reciting the Quran. I worship Allah Azza wa Jal. I teach people what's in the Quran. How dare you judge my intention that I'm disrespecting? Oh, you put it on the ground. So what? When I prostrate, I put my face on the ground. Am I uh, disrespecting my face? This is ridiculous. So these ideas that people exaggerate in, like people saying, okay, if I'm sitting on a chair and my brother is on the ground and he's a hafiz of the Quran, he's not reading the Quran, he's a hafiz. Oh, I'm committing an act of kufr or disrespect. Who, what, this is bogus. Where are you getting this nonsense from? Even if he's reciting the Quran, even if he's praying, if I'm sitting on my chair or, on, or even on the table or hanging the chandelier, who cares? Let him do what he's doing and I'm doing what I'm doing. This has nothing to do with Quran and respecting it. Muhammad.